In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use the batch setting in Photoshop to maximize your editing. So first we're going to go to File, Automate, and then select Batch. This is going to pop up and then we're going to select our um, action set and then our action and then we're going to click OK. Your source is going to be the open files and you're going to stop for errors. This is just in case one of your photos doesn't, um, it isn't compatible with the action. So that'll stop any of the uh, running actions from playing on all the images. So that just ran it all over all the images. So they're all going to be consistent. And this is really why you use batch. Um, it's just so you have like the perfect action uh, kind of fluency, not fluency, sorry. Um, it's the same action over all your images. Sorry guys, that made no sense. Um, so it's all at the same um, opacity. It's exactly the same. So I suggest whenever you create a batch, um, go ahead and just record yourself editing an image and then make it into an action. That's what I did there as you can see. And then I created another one that I'm going to add on top, but I'm going to show you really quick how to create an action in this tutorial as well. So we're going to name this flatten and then this way we don't have to go through each individual image and flatten it. So then we're going to right click on the background and flatten. Then we're going to stop. And then once we're done with that, we'll select the action that we made by highlighting it, just clicking on it, and then we're going to go back to File, Automate, and then Batch, and then OK. And then I'll run it all over all our images, and then it'll flatten all the action that we just laid on top, or that we played on top of the uh, image. And then we're all done. And that's how you use Batch in Photoshop. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.